All right, got them all put together again, uh, just to refresh you. And I did post the setup in the video description, so take a look there just if you need a refresher. So let's head on in. Alright, all we fight in here are pretty much just Godwin soldiers. These, each of them have 1500 hit points. Uh, you do want to take out those uh, crossbowmen as quickly as possible because they can do a lot of damage. Usually if there's only one one crossbowman, I would probably just you know, not really worry too much about uh, taking them all out so fast, but because there's two of them, I definitely want to uh, use the uh, formation skill there to take them all out. If there's only one of them, I'd pretty much just have Zarase attack and have Jean use her uh, uh, Thunder Runner uh, spell or whatever. It does a nice amount of damage for how many uses you get out of it, so yeah. Yeah, just literally just send everybody after that one Bowman and uh, Cross Bowman and have Jean and use it. And there we go. Yeah, this is an excellent place to do a lot of potch grinding, so if you want to do that, go ahead. You get about 20,000 potch each battle kind of thing. The exception of if you only end up with three enemies to face, but, you know, lots of potch, that's all. And here's a good uh, demonstration of a, the one crossbowman battle. So yeah, in this case, I'll just send everybody after the uh, bowman here. It'll also allow uh, Zarasi to recharge that spell charge she just used, so let's use the Lightning Thunder Runner on there. And there he goes. Lou, Jean, and Zarasi are safe. Relatively. <laughs> There is treasure I want to get, so let's go get it. And up here we got a pale gate piece. And a pale moon cask. Alright, let's equip that on somebody. Oh yeah, I forgot about the uh, pale moon gloves. Who's gonna get it? Uh, let's get to Leon. Hand me down the cask to Kyle. Gloves. Let's give those to Leon. Perfect. Let's continue down here. Get a crane wing tactic. This is actually a v another very useful tactic. Unfortunately, not right now. So, yeah, there we go. Tend to accuracy technique and speed. Yeah. Really good for uh, combos. And finally, the flame ring. Might be ready for a level up. Uh, yep. Do as well. No. All right, let's head on in.
like we're facing off against Elenia with the Twilight Rune. Oh boy. Oh well. Either that or we could just let Zarase reveal her wrath and just... Take him out. The Twilight Rune would be unstoppable! And that's why you are a fool. What? The Twilight Rune chooses its own host. There's no way it would let someone use its full power if they managed to obtain it through some foolish trick. Trick? What are you talking about? Are you saying you were chosen by the Dawn Rune? That I wasn't chosen? Impossible! I'm supposed to be the one! Me! Me! What? What are you doing? I'm not doing any... Uh, 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 help! Uh, 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 you fool! Uh, oh. What just happened? That's what happens when an imposter tries to possess the room. I'll take the Twilight Room back now, thank you. Who are you? Dolph! <gasps> I wouldn't have cared if they captured you, but if they got the Twilight Room, Gazelle would be quite upset. Now get a hold of yourself. We're getting out of here. <gasps> okay. What are you doing? After them! Alright. Let's so head in here. Get another guardian chain. Let's equip it on somebody. Uh, let's give it to you. There he is. Leon. here. And in here we get the Triple Harmony Epic. It affects attack, agility, and vitality. And a blinking rune piece. Alright, before they get too far ahead of us, let's go. Hasn't it? You both look well. What are you doing here, Mia Keys? It doesn't matter! Now get out of the way! I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't do that. Did somebody tell you to guard this door? If they did, then they're just using you to help Elenia get away! I don't mind. I am a Queen's Knight, after all. So what if you're a Queen's Knight? Does that mean you take orders from Gazelle or Elenia? You don't understand. Being a Queen's Knight is really the only thing that I have left. But Mia Keys... You can join us. As you know, Prince, a queen's knight must never abandon her duty. Because of that, if you want me to get out of your way, you'll just have to defeat me. You 
You're taking on a queen's knight. There's no need to hold back against me. Prince, can you handle this one? No, I won't give up yet. Now I'm going to get really serious. Ouch, that hurt. I'll get you this time. No, I won't give up yet. around Yankees. Prince I'm sorry I'm afraid I can't pr protect the princess anymore I'm sorry Please forgive me Star of Destiny number 76.
Alright, let's go talk to Zarasi then. Give me an order. Very well. The names of the ones destined by the stars who have chosen to fight by your side will appear here. But please remember this. The stars are only guides. Destiny does not determine a person's future. Tis a person's will that determines destiny. I will be watching. Watching to see where your struggles will lead. The Sun Rune. Hazard's books, more or less. But yes, this slab of rock will eventually contain all 108 stars of destiny. And it also has the ones that we already have, so. So, what do we do now then?
No time to be distracted by runes. You guys talk big, but you ended up losing Dorat to the enemy. When did the Great Queen's Knights and the powerful Godwin family become so utterly useless? Just where have all your schemes and plans gotten us now? Your Majesty! You have every right to be angry, Your Majesty. I must admit that I too underestimated the rebel army. And I certainly never expected such trickery from your esteemed brother. You know, I have very little respect for dirty tactics. Huh. You're one to talk about dirty tactics. You just haven't earned the loyalty of the people, that's all. Brother simply took advantage of that. I figured that out and I'm just a child. Why didn't you? That's it. No wonder you can't beat him. If you guys can't get the job done, then I have no choice. I'll go into battle to stop the war myself! Your Majesty, are you saying you would subjugate your own brother? Need I repeat myself? The Queen of Felena must do everything she can so that her people can live in peace, no matter what risk needs to be taken. My mother taught me that. So we must do everything we can in our power to end this war, right? But your majesty, that in no way means you have to go to the front line personally. And of course, as your husband, I don't want to see my beloved wife go off to the battlefield. Lies, all lies. I've already told you my wishes. That was an imperial order from your queen. I will not tolerate disobedience. As you wish, your majesty. I'll arrange the troops for you right away. Thanks for watching. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching and have a good one.